Are we rolling? Are we rolling? Okay. Jin Dobri Chesh and hello today guys. We're gonna be reacting to more Polish music. This is gonna be the second video that I've made doing this. I've reacted to Polish rap before and I've reacted to Polish music as well. But today we're gonna to be reacting to Polish music again. I actually asked you guys on my community tab what you wanted me to watch, and you guys had so many requests, so many different comments. So I put a bunch of the songs that you guys actually requested in a playlist, and today we're gonna to be watching that together. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, guys, so the first song that we're gonna be watching is by the dumplings. This is Koham Bitch Zetobo. I love you to be missed or something like that. I don't know. Um, my translations are probably super messed up, but and also my pronunciation. But anyways, um, let's just get right into this. Okay, super interesting, super artsy. Kind of reminds me of uh, Krakow already. <sighs> We're going to all these rooms, but it's not the same people. I think it's just different. Like, it's not the same person, but throughout life or something, it's different people, I think. At different times? Okay, she's gone. Uh oh. Whoa, she's getting hit. Oh, that's the kids. And is she getting hit now? Or is he just flipping out? Interesting film though, like how it's how it's filmed. The song seems pretty deep actually. It seems like fake love or it seems like the passing of like generational hate and stuff like that. But now I'm confused seeing this, so I, I, I don't know. Are they faking love? I don't know. Definitely a cool song. Uh, great singer, great band. Um, definitely a deep meaning behind it as well, but I guess I'm just lacking that. I guess I'm lacking the meaning behind it, but if you want, you can let me know in the comment section down below. I'm looking forward to it. All right, the next song is going to be by Daria Saviov. Hey, hey. Man, you guys gave me so so many of the uh, like deeper meaning songs. Oh, that's sad. Well, welcome to life, 2019. This must be the chorus. I like it. I like the way the song flows. Definitely sounds good. So she's cleaning them, I guess, in a sense. Is that what that means? Oh, is this like her fantasy of life? That's maybe that's what that means. That's that's what she thinks she wants the fantasy of life to be. No, I actually really like this song. It sounds really good. Like the chorus definitely flows really well. I think. Definitely a sad topic. Um, seems to be definitely relevant now more than ever. And uh, it's interesting that there's kind of a lot of songs now uh, about like people just on their phones and things like that and just being drones. And it's interesting, definitely interesting that that's like kind of a new topic with songs. So it's sad, but it's truth. So the next song is gonna be Groobsome, Groobsome, I'll See You in Heaven. So I guess it's a tribute to this guy. Definitely a cool song to, um, you know, commemorate someone who's fallen. What's up with all these deep songs? I feel like the rap reactions I've made like had no deep meanings at all. It's just about money and things like that. And then the first three that I've reacted to, or however many it's been, it's just all deep songs. So crazy. 
Man, that's a good song though. I definitely like the chorus too. It's just, I don't know, it sounds really good. Um, it's definitely kind of a sad one, but with a lot of meaning, just like the other ones. And it's definitely a cool song. Alright, next song is David Pachadwa, Nainovsi Clip. It already has David Pachadwa's guitar to it, his vibe. Oh, please, please tell me. This isn't an ad for an app. Are they playing Candy Crush in real life? Oh, maybe it's about how stupid that is. <laughs> oh my god, is this gonna be one of those songs with the same exact meanings as the other? Happy Oh. Where are you? So much going on, jeez. I guess that's the point of that. Alright, so I'm gonna stop it there because it seems like it's actually the same meanings as the other songs that I was listening to earlier. Definitely interesting. Like I said, guys, this is like kind of how almost the trend is going for songs. It's about, you know, the overuse of technology. A cool song though. I like it. I like David Pachadwa. Alright, so the next song is Ronnie Ferrari, Ronnie Ferrari, Ona Betak Chawa. I think this is the most liked song actually on YouTube that's uh, Polish. Yeah, I've actually, I have heard this song. That classic like disco polo intro. They always have that wah type of sound, always. They're always sampling that. That sound right there. He's gonna make tea. Uh, bitch to them. So I'm really curious as to why this song became so popular. It sounds a lot like other disco polo songs, except maybe this one caters a little bit to younger people instead of like older cringe type of disco polo. Yeah, I guess it's the latest meme. Anyways, let's move on. We've all heard it, right? You don't want to hear it again. Let's get started on Czesław Niemien Divini Jest Ten Świat. Something about the world. Oh, it's one of those soul type of songs. Definitely a cool song. Lots of heart and soul in it, for sure. There's that one song, I think, by that American. It sounds just like this, but it's talking about a strange world or something like that. Maybe it's a Polish version? I don't know, but it sounds good, and I like this song, definitely. It's a cool song. Moving on to Young Iggy and uh, Kaizo Ini Gatunik. Alright, let me guess. It's about money, women, and if it's with Kaizo, it's cocaine. Man, he's young. <laughs> Interesting filming location for rap video. Okay, so far this is not the music video I was expecting from these two. Not gonna lie. There he is. Okay, so we got money. Is that USD? No, it's Watley. Okay. I, I definitely like this beat. Beat and him definitely go along together very well, for sure. It's like that new glitch transition that's going on now. He looks like he's reading a script behind the camera. And didn't he make that song Lamborghini recently, I think? Looks like he's wearing the same shirt. Yo, is that a iguana? Okay, definitely a cool song. Um, didn't... I thought it was just gonna be about like women, money, and drugs the entire time, but I don't, I don't think it was actually. Um, it might have been on a little bit of a deeper level than normal from what I'm used to hearing from them. But um, yeah, it was a cool song. Definitely enjoyed it. So the next song is by Wanna Eat Weber. This is Bwoud. Man, that's a weird word. Bwoud? Bwoud, I think. Okay, we got some sad, sad color grading here. 
Okay, what is going on here? It's in Poland? Okay, definitely a weird song, and I think that you can only understand if you actually can understand uh, his lyrics, and I can't. So we're gonna move on, but definitely a, a weird song, cool song. Maybe someone can elaborate a bit more in the comment section down below. Let's move on to Bedos and Lanik. So these two actually had a pretty cool song called FPS, FPS, and I reacted to it in the Guess the Polish Rapper video that I made, and this one is called Opowiesie z Dalny Smokov. Let's get started. Alright, so this guy's getting mugged. Is that a Yaris? You're gonna pull up in the Toyota Yaris and act hard, really? Come on. Okay, so it seems like one of those gangster type of uh, stories that kind of go back and forth with gang violence and it's just revenge against revenge and avenge and avenge and things like that. That's what I think it's about, but it's a neat song. Definitely a neat song. Seems to be actually deeper lyrics than what I thought it was going to be um, from these two. And it's a cool song. Alright, so the next song is by Bedos and Lanik. This is 1998. Okay, no beat. Yeah, that's a mustache right there. I guess they're going off that. 98 vibe. Was this guy in the song uh, La Nas? Let me know in the comment section. Yeah, this guy's definitely a lyricist, isn't he? He's, he's, he's pretty cool. Beat's awesome, and I think it's cool how they... I think it's cool how he was just rapping like without a beat and then the beat comes on. I thought that was pretty cool and pretty unique. Um, it's a pretty cool, definitely a pretty cool song. Um, and it seems like it has a deep message as well, which is pretty cool. But yeah, it doesn't have that banger vibe like FPS, but it's still definitely a cool song to listen to. All right, guys, so that was actually pretty much it today. I want to thank you so much for watching and just, you know, commenting your requests on what you want me to watch. It's It means a lot, honestly. If you guys want to subscribe for more Polish to American type of content here on YouTube, then just subscribe down below. And pretty soon I'll be in Poland, so stay tuned for those videos. So that's all I pretty much got today. So dziękuję i do widzenia.